going, you guys? So, recently everybody's been hearing about the Jeanette McCurdy leak of her photo. What the story is, she sent um, pictures to her boyfriend, her now ex-boyfriend, and um, he leaked them out. And um, she is a very popular Nickelodeon star on the show, um, iCarly. But um, the link's in the description if you want to see them. I mean, I'm not endorsing people to go look at somebody else's private business, but I know that... Uh, you know, people might want to see him, so there, it's there if you want it. Uh, so as a guy who experienced inappropriate actions towards me when I was 16 or 17, one word comes to mind about all of this. Ew. And that'll be a word for today, because today we're going to talk about, nope, not Dr. Disrespect, but Mr. Beast Ava Chris Tyson and her or their disgusting allegations. Now let me show you the rest of the clip from Mr. XQC to kind of set the tone of this video moving forward. What? But um, yeah, when people like Perez nudes from their girlfriend at people they've leaked um nudes from their girlfriend at a high school and that little that girl kills herself. It's a tragic story. Everybody calls the guy a bully. But um, yeah, when people like Perez Hilton do it, it's considered entertainment. So you gotta have to think about where the right and wrong is really. Um, I think it's all wrong, personally. I don't think somebody should leak photos that were sent in trust, but I guess if that's how President Hill wants to make his living, you decide if it's moral or if it's immoral. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay awesome. Yeah, max level yuckiness stuff, I know. Now, the most common defense here is, but, but, dude, that's a long time ago. Still super freaking weird, though. Plus, in the internet, your past and present can collide. Because when people see your deplorable deeds and shit in the past, that will actually set the tone for your present image. Now, let me be clear that according to the evidence presented, Ava Chris Tyson didn't seem guilty for illegal activities. But it can't escape the fact that what she or they did is su super duper creepy and weird and borderline dangerous mentality. So I'll keep this video short because this kind of shit creeps me out because like I said, this happened to me in the past and this is some cringy revolting allegations. So Chris Tyson, as you may know from Mr. Beast's theme, began exhibiting symptoms of a recent virus called inappropriate activity towards a minor virus or in short, the predator virus that recently infected both Chris Tyson and Dr. Disrespect. So as early as last month from Mr. Prism42's video, the allegations about Ava Chris Tyson talking inappropriately to a minor began swarming like flies on a fresh pile of manure. And it continued to steamroll up until now because these allegations are flat out career destroying. And this video being the recent one thrown into the pit of evidence, titled, This video will make you hate Chris Tyson. The video is very well made that go about stuff that Chris did in the past, and what she did is not what you would consider a safe behavior. So the first allegations is from a group chat with this guy who was, I believe, 14 that time, where Chris is caught doing some questionable stuff towards him like this message is calling him one-on-one -on -one, asking him to help him on mr beast streams and also sending some weird stuff like this snapchat that said coming to america now the alleged victim did speak out about this saying that all of this are untrue that he was never been groomed and that all of this is a lie but what mr moist said about this is pretty accurate the main person being talked about came forward saying they weren't groomed and that it wasn't weird, but the, the whole thing is, if you were groomed, you're probably not going to be super aware of it. And from the messages I saw, that shit is completely unacceptable to be saying to a child under, under any circumstances. I mean, yeah, because when I was 16 or 17 at that time, I didn't really know what was happening. I didn't really feel anything because it was my professor that time. And I thought of it like, as a joke. But when I began uh, growing and learning, I began to realize that, hmm, what my professor did is not okay. And yeah, sure, all of these allegations about grooming are probably not true, but you just can't argue the fact that what she is doing is very not good looking, especially for this next part. Now, there are two main antagonists in Mr. Adrock's video. Number one is Shadman, an illegal artist and Chris Tyson. Now this is a classic case of an illegal artist that likes to draw actual underaged characters and a consumer that likes his art. 
total lunacy. So Shadman, the illegal artist, is a doozy. So I'll let Mr. Moist give a brief summary of who he is. Oh yeah, for those that don't know, the Shadman stuff that I was talking about with uh, the Ava comments, Shadman didn't just draw lolly or anything. He drew real children in, like, he drew real, like, children in sexual positions. Like, the big one was Keemstar's eight-year-old daughter. He did, like, a porn drawing of Keemstar's actual child. He, like, the Shadman stuff is not lolly. So that debate that's happening is super misplaced. He drew real children in those positions. He wasn't doing fictional characters, the thousand-year-old vampire who just happens to look like a child. He was doing actual real-world children and drawing them that way. I mean, it's one thing to draw characters that looks like a child, but to draw depicting an actual child is ultra disgusting and illegal. Like drawing Mr. Keemstar's daughter inappropriately is deplorable and heinous shit. And unfortunately, he has not been found guilty of any wrongdoings yet. But he did get arrested for assault. Now, Chris in the past is known to like LOLs, a female character that is of age but depicted as a child. And Chris and Shadman, the illegal artist, have a very special connection. And in Mr. Adrox's video shows multiple instances on where Chris is like salivating for some illegal artwork. So let's go over some of Mr. Adrox's evidence. On November 18th, 2017, Ava responded to a tweet from Grande and Mr. B stating, this is coming from a guy who owns a shad based drawing and has it as a centerpiece in his living room. Just some time later, they also posted the exact same drawing laid on the floor with the caption, bonus fidget spinners to throw some extra autism. In this Mr. Beast video, you'll notice a very familiar thing at the 9 minutes and 30 second timestamp. From what I believe, keeping illegal art in the bedroom isn't normal at all. The shocking thing is that Mr. Beast and Chris were roommates during that time. Uh, that's the first example and now this is the second one. Maybelle and Dipper are 12 year old siblings from a show called Gravity Falls. On July 14th, 2017, a user tweeted comics of these characters kissing. Avery replied, they're twins so at this point, it's just mad right? That's only two examples and there are more instances in the video on where Chris is showcasing his not good behavior. So please, I encourage you to watch Mr. Adrox's video, I'll link it down below. Now seeing that side of Chris is borderline dangerous. It's like she's giving us hints subconsciously on what she is on the inside. Now the allegations may or may not be true, but one thing's for certain on the people's mind that she is definitely not looking good. Because like I said, I did experience inappropriate behaviors when I was 16 or 17, so it makes it extra creepy for me looking from an outside perspective. So let's just wait for Chris, either Chris or Mr. Beast to make a statement. But I think Mr. Beast isn't really gonna cut ties with Chris Tyson over this anytime soon because like I said that Chris didn't really do anything illegal yet. Just very creepy red flag behavior. So yeah, sorry. So when I was rendering this video, I saw on Twitter that Chris did apologize and handled it pretty well. And it turns out that she stepped away from Mr. Beast to avoid more conflict, which I think is for the best. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Bye.